Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is way better than I thought it was gonna look because the lighting was not good. I feel like I talk about this all the time, but we have to talk about it. If you're new here, welcome. If you're trying to subscribe, then you know that it's all love. It's been love for years. So what I've noticed about women who receive the most from men is they men is they have boundaries but the boundaries are super firm here's an example so, i mean i remember years ago with this guy and like all the way before the date or whatever we were texting for like a couple of days and stuff like that and of course i was betting him i was looking up his number but then i didn't know all the apps that you could use to look up somebody's number and basically find out everything about their entire life off of one app um and that app is on patreon i am not telling it on youtube and i really hope that it never gets out into the world it's only on patreon go on there if you have any questions patreon starts at five dollars anyway so um I remember I was going on a date with him or whatever, and I was like, well, you know, just let me know um, the time and the place or whatever, blah, 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 blah. I was like, it's important for me because I want to be dressed accordingly to the place that we're going to. But, so he never texted me back like after two days, but we have been texting back to back, and he never texted me back after two days. So in my head, he was outside of mine. Next thing I know, he texted me with reservations, right? He, he texted me at like 10 a.m. and he was like, the date is at two. Do I look like a waiter? Like, do I really look like somebody that just wait around for a motherfucker? Because if I do, I really am not the type of person who is just waiting around for somebody to text me um, confirmation. So I told him, I'm like, actually, this is not going to work. So if you want to reschedule with a time and place, place and give me more of a notice. And he was like, well, you said to let you know the time and place. You never said when to let you know. And then that right there, like going back and forth with him, I wasn't about to do it because if, if I know to other people that might come off like, oh, you're being a bitch, you're being such and such. Like, I always knew like my time was valuable. Is that wrong for wanting more for myself, wanting people to treat me with respect? I see stuff all the time. I actually seen a tweet uh, on Level Up Elite, a tweet that had went viral when this guy was like, oh, um, let's go get ice cream. And the girl was like, I don't want to get ice cream. And um, she was like, I have standards, that's the bare minimum. And then there was women in the comments like, oh, I would have got ice cream. I sure would have been there getting ice cream. Okay, so like Nikki Minaj said, you'd be drinking the pickle juice. If you took the pickle juice, you'd be drinking pickle juice. But had I accepted the pickle juice, I would be drinking pickle juice right now. If you go get the ice cream on the first day, do not be shocked when that's all you're getting is fucking ice cream. Come off like a bitch to some people, but the only people worried about coming off to off a bitch to somebody who d clearly doesn't respect them or respect their standards or respect their time, who don't have self-confidence and don't know who you are. I feel like uh, every single woman that I see that receives gifts or receives just manifests everything she wants and is it just attracting the type of men who will spoil her but not only that treat her with respect because that's two things too you're not about to be spoiling me and degrading me and disrespecting me and fetishizing me and all that you're not about to be doing that you're not about to be out here acting a fool you're really not about to be throwing stuff in my face and that's another thing too i hate to get into this but um there was a, there's a, uh, Life Can't Keisha. I actually listen to her music. If you guys are, if you guys ever listen to my finesse playlist, it's on iTunes and it's also on Spotify, but I can't log into my Spotify, boo. But, um, I have a lot of Life Can't Keisha music on there. I, I really love her music. So, there was a viral tweet and in the viral tweet, I was supposed to be getting my face together, but, um, where's my moisturizer at? Um, but I cannot use this uh, black girl sunscreen. It does not work for me and it makes me super oily. So if you guys have any recommendations on other sunscreens, please let me know. Um, Lyson Keisha and her fiance, because I'm pretty sure he proposed to her, basically saying that if he cheated on her, that she would stay. <laughs> and there's so much stuff that I want to say about that. We ain't gonna talk about it. Go for what? No, let's talk about it. Put it out on the table. You're not gonna leave me if I cheat on you. You're stupid. You're not. You You're not leaving. You not. First things first. <laughs> because old man knows that that if he even said if I cheated on you, you would stay with me, that we'd be over. You get what I'm saying? Like that we would not be together. 
And I don't care if he's my fiance or whatever the case, we would be done. He would never even insinuate that I was saying. You done lost your damn mind. When you get your damn mind, you call me. Because he knows I'm not fucking goofy. And all a fiance is, is a proposal, right? Just like when you go with like a business proposal, that, that's all it is. It's a proposal. It, it ain't not, the contract ain't signed yet. I'll tell you something, if I was on a podcast with my husband and he said, oh, if I cheated on you, um, you would stay, we'd be divorced the next day. <sighs> Sticks and stones break my bones and words hurt me. So I, I'm very sensitive. You are not going to go on a podcast. You're not going to go on national TV. You're not even going to group chat with your friends about, oh, Chanel would stay with me if I cheated. The wrong Chanel. So that lets me know, again, boundaries are not set because why would he even feel comfortable saying things like that? And I, I just have to wonder about like her and her self-esteem that he would even think something. And it's another thing, I just feel like the women that get the most and have the best relationships are the ones who set the, the strongest, firmest boundaries. And I and then I noticed this too. If somebody is telling you, and I've seen this with even some of my friends, somebody they'll be dating somebody. And the person will give them a breakdown like, yeah, so I used to date this girl. And this is actually my, one of my guy friends, right? He brought a girl a Birkin bag, right? So let me just spill the tea, y'all. Because he brought a girl um, so let's, let's do this. You guys see that now my, it really helps with the puffiness under your eye. No, it really does help. This is on Amazon. If you guys want, I'll attach the link. I'd be lazy with stuff like that, but these actually really help. And it comes with 60, so. Um, anyway, so I have a friend, it's a guy friend. So he bought the girl a Birkin. This is even before I even knew what a Birkin was, right? This man has money, y'all. And this was, this was back in the day. So just imagine when he's still doing it big now. Actually just hung out with him recently. He has money. He also paid for the girl's boob job. And he also, and when I say purchase a condo, I mean purchase a condominium, right? Didn't rent it, didn't lease it, purchase a condominium, right? Also purchased her Mercedes and got her boob job, right? So every time, so he's, you know, he's single now. So every time I get a chance, I'm always trying to push one of my friends on him. Like, I'm like, look, y'all, I, I know what this man has done. Like, you know what y'all saying? I see God, I see what you've done for others. I seen what he's done for others. I'm like, y'all, this man spends money. We gonna get that money. Every time I try to hook like one of my friends up with him or just whatever, he has not spent any money on them, right? And I've tried to hook him up with two friends. I've even tried to hook him up with a girl that's in my mentor tier. I didn't even tell the, I didn't tell him or I just told her like, look, this is the breakdown of him. You can follow him on IG. You make something happen. I ain't got nothing else to say. Like I will literally send you guys if I know they spend money. I wouldn't stray you away. So, but he didn't even spend money on her either. And that's another thing too. If I know somebody has told me that this person has spent money on somebody else or he's told me that he spent money on somebody else and you get with him and he's not spending money. I don't care what I told you. I don't care what somebody else told you. I don't care what he told you. Do not wait there. Listen to me. Do not wait there thinking that he's going to start spending money. You need to be out and about and dating and doing your thing. Just because I already told you, oh yeah, he's, but girl, he brought this person to condo. If I stay down, baby, that girl was not staying down. I'm telling you right now, that girl was living her best life in the streets and he was doing all this for her. If he's not doing it for you, then he's just not going to do it. And he also told me some bullshit talking about, oh, I'm more, um, I'm more responsible with my money now. And he told me some bullshit like that. But I know when the next girl that's his dream girl comes, we'll get into the whole dream girl conversation. Dream girl comes around, she, she will be getting a condo. She will be getting a Mercedes. She'll be getting a boo job. She'll be getting everything that she wants. You're not, and that's why like, I understand when people are like, oh, what does it have anything to do with being his dream girl? Men are just shitty human beings. Two things could be right at the same time. Two times, okay? Two things could be right at the same time. He is a shitty individual and he should be treating all women accordingly, of course, but clearly he's not. And clearly the woman that he wants, and the, it's, that's what I'm saying, the, the hypergamous 
um, lifestyle, the level up game, it's not friendly. It's not nice. It, there, it's, you know, it's not for everybody. So to be honest, no, he's not going to spend money on everybody. And life is not fair. So why would y'all be sitting here for the possibility that he's going to spend money? It's a deadline. His skin looks rejuvenated. We're not, we're not done yet. Also, that brings me to that person could just be frugal and not want to spend money. That person could just not want to do for you, you know? And another thing too, and I bring this up all the time is I don't like haters, okay? I don't like haters. I don't like women that see other women getting things and like, oh, well, I know I look better than her. I know I dress better than her. I know I smell better than her. I know my body is better than her. I know my boobs look better than her, but are, are, you, are, you, are your spirit, are you right within? Is the inside reflecting the outside better than hers? You know what I'm saying? Before I end, I'm gonna end this with this uh, toner, this glow toner. Um, and I got it from Ross and I've been having it for a while now and like it misses the face and it just makes everything look so shiny and like my skin look very like, you know? I just don't like that whole down in another woman to like big me up. Women think like that, oh, because you're smaller than another woman. Oh, because you're lighter than another woman. Yeah, you should be getting something because this woman is getting something. Oh, your hair looks better. Oh, I know I look better than her. I should be getting a $25,000 allowance. And there's this quote that I got, got off of one of my favorite shows, but it was like, as long as you're envious of others, you will never know peace. There it is. As long as you're envious of others, you will never know peace. Lifestyle and just wanting to elevate your life and just date better or whatever. Have to know, you have to know that there's just no room for jealousy. There's no room for hate. You're not going to thrive in a jealous environment, right? And being competitive and jealousy, two different things. Something that why some women get big gifts and get all these things that people really don't like to mention a lot is just that woman is lucky. She's just lucky, you know? And I think that that's the hard truth that some people don't want to kind of, you know, I, I feel like there's a strategy to it. Of course, I, was, I have a whole video on how I, I, women strategically go after celebrity men and celebrity women. <sighs> Such a good video. That was one of my favorite videos I ever made. Um, but, I feel like it's it's strategic, of course, and you know manifestation. But what what you have to realize that there's a woman who might not look as good as you, might not have the same body as you. We might and I have no part, and she walk into I don't know Jack in the Box, and one day, and while she in Jack in the Box, a millionaire pulls up. And he sees her in line and he's like, hey, can I buy the Jumbo Jack for you? Here's my number. She's like, yeah, there's there's your, thank you. And she takes his number from him, calls him, and he ends up owning all the Jack in the Boxes on the North America side, right? And when you hear things like that, you have to, there's, there's two feelings, right? Well, three feelings. You can feel nothing, right? Or you can feel love and feel like, oh my God, I hope that that happens for me, right? Or you could feel hate and be like, damn, like, that, what was she doing in that Jack in the Box selling pussy? You like, come to this realization that some of these women are just lucky and they just, and and you can be too, right? But with, but they didn't have to do too much and they just woke up one day and just found somebody that loved them and they found their person and that person is rich and generous and caring and loving and everything and you don't feel any contempt in your heart, that's when you will start being blessed with Something similar, but packaged for you. Okay, some women live in better locations than you. That you live in an area where the medium, I think I was meant to say medium, but the medium income is 49,000 compared to somebody who lives in an area where the medium income is 200,000. It's the proximity to people who are making more money, right? And just because somebody makes more money, that doesn't mean they're generous but it does mean that they have more to spend if they do spend, right? So I think that that has a lot to do with it and not being afraid to move cities. I just moved to a new city, so and we'll talk about that later, but don't be afraid to move around because a lot of these women who I know that have major success stories is never in their home cities. It's always in a different location. Last but not least, last but not least, I think that one, one um thing that I really want you ladies to know and like something that like 
I think that everybody kind of just steps over sometimes is knowing when to take breaks. Your life should not be surrounded by who's going to give me some money. Surrounded by I, I just need a man in my life. The, the sooner you become like happy at where you're at and appreciative of what you have and what you don't is the sooner you get uh, get blessings. And to me, it's a, a man with money is not a blessing. A man being able to get you and treat you right and respect you and still get you everything you want or whatever, that's that's the blessing there. For every woman that I know, especially on my Patreon, don't forget to join my Patreon. You can charge a day join and on the first, but it's really good tea. And people tell me all the time that I don't charge enough, enough for my Patreon. I'm gonna end it here. If I miss a few things, comment below why you think that some women get get and find generous men and some women don't, or it'll be pinned to the comments. Um, follow me on Instagram, codename Chanel. And I think that's it, I think I'm out. I'll just end this with um, one of my favorite rappers of all time, Foxy Brown. I end this with a quote from Foxy Brown. Love thyself and put no one above thee. And I'm out, bye you guys.